uh, form blocks built. You can see two pieces here. They'll come together when you put the piece of metal in between. I'll screw in some wing nuts on both sides and tighten them down to hold the metal in between and use that to uh, hammer down the flanges. We're going to take one of these pieces and use it to trace a pattern on the aluminum uh, for our actual cutout. So now what I'm looking for here is I'm going to use one edge of the aluminum as simply um, where my uh, uh, one of my edges is going to be so I won't have to cut that edge. Uh, that'll simplify things a little bit. So you only really have uh, two edges to cut. And the way we're going to do this is uh, actually start by measuring out from the edge about um, you can see I'm clamping down on the edge measure out 15 30 seconds um, that's what the plans call for for this particular rib right um, I get my edge about 15 30 seconds away along the edge snap that guy into place And then what I'm going to use for to lay out the rest of it is this nice washer. Uh, I've read about this trick online from many other builders. Uh, this washer is pretty much designed so that uh, it's a washer that has a, a ring. The outside ring is just less than half an inch. Um, it's actually about uh, 7 sixteenths. So that gives me enough. Um, if When I put my pin on the edge... It'll give me just about one half of an inch or 15, 30 seconds. So I'll take that washer, take it to the edge, and uh, trace out all around my part. Very easy process. You can see it a little bit better from up here. You see it's smearing here on the uh, metal. It's not really the metal here. I'm using... Uh, coated um, aluminum so it's got a plastic protective layer um, on the outside and so of course the washer is going to smear it a little bit that doesn't matter much because that plastic will eventually come off when we are doing final installation so with that we'll actually come around here now let's see from this angle the next step is pretty cool and a uh, common practice that a lot of builders uh, use is to actually um, uh, score. Uh, well, we're not ready for that. So after we've traced the pattern, uh, the other thing we're gonna wanna do, let's take it back over here for a second. The other key point before we remove the clamp, we've traced the outside pattern. That's pretty important. Uh, but the other thing we're going to do is punch, uh, center punch a couple holes. Um, first, we're going to center punch uh, holes on the corners where we're going to have to drill eventually uh, those uh, um, inside the flange edges. So since this form block is right to the inside edges, you make it right at the point uh, in the uh, corner here. Pretty straightforward. There's not one on this side. And then finally, I'm going to actually center punch where I'm going to have to drill so that the form block, the screws from the wing, uh, wing nuts will go all the way through, uh, you know, and clamp down on the form block. Uh, now that we've got that done, we can actually remove the, um, uh, remove the form block and cut out our part. Uh, so we're going to move the camera here for a second. And hopefully get a pretty good angle here. I will take my ruler and 
my straight edge. I'm sorry, my ruler is my straight edge. And I'm going to go just inside of that line. So I don't want right on the edge because I want to actually smooth it out a little bit, file it down. It doesn't have to be too perfect here because this is the flange. Um, so you want to, you know, if you're off by 30 seconds on an inch, it shouldn't make any difference structurally. So anyway, I'll get that lined up. Do a couple I do about about eight or nine scores. This is O25 aluminum, so eight or nine scores will definitely. Oh man, I slipped a little. Luckily, I didn't slip in the direction of my part, so I scored that aluminum. We'll have to mark that so I don't try to use that aluminum here. Uh, I finally want to score this line here pretty well. Of course all these little metal scraps are not your friends so you want to get it off of your workbench as soon as you can. Uh, now for this last one I think I won't score it. I'll actually use the snips because uh, I can cut this down. easier to get things started. I'll be using the bandsaw to cut that line anyway. So now um, I'm just careful to oh, be careful to move the camera so place that you can see here without it breaking. Just be careful to uh, Bend just a couple times. You don't want to bend in any one place too too harsh because you'll end up um, um, you know putting a bend in the aluminum itself, and you don't want that, obviously. So and then I come back. I have to use an exacto knife. I'm cutting the plastic. This aluminum is coated on both sides, so obviously the breaking the bending and breaking the aluminum is not going to tear through that plastic, except on the side that you scored it. So, you know, we got this little one here, and it takes just a couple bends and it breaks away. And there we go. Now we have our raw piece uh, pretty much cut down. Uh, we've got a little bit more work to do here uh, to finish off where the lines are going to be. One thing I like to do is I take my block again. found uh, just in the limited amount of uh, work that I've done here. Now I can visually see where those center punch holes are and line my block back up. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, make sure I draw some of the lines um, uh, well actually I'll be drawing those lines when I uh, punch the hole. The only lines I need to really draw are out here uh, to show where I, where the end of the where the end of the uh, flange needs to be. I'm just